Hello and welcome to another update video about LINK. The LINK chart still points to the downside, no change. Um, we highlighted in the previous videos that this is the area against which we we can focus to the downside. Yeah, this area between $6.38 and, uh, and $6.91. This is basically, yeah, the area, the key levels that we can use to focus on lower. And uh, most uh, recently here then the swing high, which was the C wave of the way four, which marked the high point of this flat correction. This is now the latest key level against which we can focus on lower. The, the first target for this fifth wave to the downside is at $5.62. After that, I mean, if we don't see a reaction there, then we could get the more extended target of uh, $5.10 which would all be within the scope of what this wave four of a third wave can do. And then we should see a reaction in a fourth wave and one more lower low in a fifth wave. And that should eventually ideally end below the low point that was made on Sunday, the 11th of June or the 10th of June, Saturday that was at $4.91. So eventually lower. And let's see, I mean, I measured these targets here, $5.10 and $5.17, yeah, $5.16 in a certain way. So we can see if we can get additional information or maybe some Fibonacci confluence by using another way of measuring. And here it's getting very interesting because if I use the uh, Fibonacci extensions of this wave one, I get a nice overlap here at $5.08 pretty much. That's the 2.618 extension. So I would certainly pay attention to that level at $5.10, um, but $5 and, no, what did I say? $5, no, sorry, $5.62 is one target, of course, yeah. I think I just said $5.16, not $5.62. So $5.62 is one target. And the next one, yeah, $5.08, $5.09, and there is Fibonacci Confluence. So that is going to be an interesting one. Whenever you have... You know, there are, there are typically different legitimate ways of calculating targets. And if you have different targets overlapping or different Fibonacci levels from different ways of measuring when they are overlapping, that's typically quite a good sign that there is some confluence and that, yeah, it could actually work out that way. So I would certainly pay attention to that. Um, besides that, yeah, I mean, that said, that being said, the focus remains on lower still moving within a price channel here of course but it always is worth i think to update the microstructures for anybody who's interested in them and for anybody who's trading actually the micro levels here because this looks quite impulsive on the way down yeah and it all aligns with the assumption that this is a c wave of a larger third wave by the way i'm going to change the wave degree of this third uh, wave yeah let's just change the wave degree because Otherwise, we get we mix up the degrees. Yeah, no, this looks good. Third wave, then a fourth wave higher. Yeah, could it could happen at some point? Yeah, this corrective rally in a fourth wave, potentially reaching the top of that price channel. Absolutely, that's possible. But it should happen only after price has made a lower low against the 10th of June low. Because bigger picture, yeah, a larger degree fourth wave likely finished here in November 22. We are coming down in a fifth wave potential bearish target around $3.50 in an ending diagonal, one, two, three, then four and five. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if this um, wave count changes because we are likely moving in an ending diagonal. Diagonal structures, they are characterized by corrective subwaves and, you know, they are extremely difficult because you can get all sorts of different corrective structures. There are more than 10 different patterns and also the corrections, they don't always align perfectly with textbook patterns. So yeah, you have the whole bandwidth of messy structures in here. But so far it's adhering very well to it. It's following the descending price channel. So pay attention to that. And uh, yeah, that's my update about Chainlink. Link, hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.